hello great people welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again most emo lights believe that the evil seed okorocha planted in emo state is due for harvest and the time has come because for eight years he was in power he never had regard for any court order so what is about to happen to him is as a result of what the seeds he has sown in the past now this statement is equal to what is currently happening in Imo State, where some of the houses owned by Okorocha may likely be demolished in the next seven days, according to the information that we have gathered. The Imo State government is about to flout God order, and they are set to demolish Okorocha's houses. And according to the news, agents of the Imo State government are said to have marked some buildings and business premises belonging to family members of the former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, for demolition. In a video obtained by a correspondent, the agent of the government reportedly ordered the removal of the structures on the affected areas Within seven days of the action, the implication, according to some sources who spoke to a correspondent, is that the building may be forcefully demolished if, after the expiration of the timeline, which is seven day ultimatum, the owners fail to voluntarily remove the structure. The question is remove the structure. How? <laughs> However, a document exclusively obtained uh, shows that most of the affected areas are subject of ongoing litigation and for which judgment had been entered in favor of owners of the properties, with the court granting a perpetual order restraining the governor or his agents from entering or cutting, cutting away anything from the affected building. In a suit, Mark H., O W nine four seven slash two thousand and nineteen. The applicant, which included Uloma Rochas Ngosu and three others, Justice Ezeoku of the Federal High Court, who were granted the prayer of the plaintiff restraining the Imo State government, its agents and per personnel of the now disbanded Imo State government committee on recovery of government properties from entering. The premises of the underlisted properties, Elfrida Foundation, House of Frida, East High School, East High Acad Academy, and others. Investigation, however, shows that some overzealous agents of the government may have been behind the recent action of going ahead to mark this building despite standing a court order restraining them from doing so. Brasta Emmanuel Lemchuku, an attorney based in Oweri, dismissed the reported marking of these buildings as a reckless display of power by the government and argued that the, the governor may not be aware of the action. According to him, he said it would be most unfortunate if the governor is aware of this reckless impunity by agents of government. This is a subsisting court order, or there is a subsisting court order from entering these properties and it amounts to a government encouraging lawlessness and resort to self-help, which are features of a lawless society if the authority, if the authorized this trespassers. Effort made to contact the Attorney General of the State, Chief COC, Akeolusa, failed, did not go through, uh, though um, his phone was ringing. He went through, but uh, he did not pick up his call. And uh, Imo Lights have reacted to this seriously. And someone said, mm, Biafra country. They have started fighting just now. You have never gotten the Biafran country yet. Problems have started non-stop and flush Biafran people. These are not Biafrans. They are actually um, the state government which they are battling with themselves for reasons based on two. This one says here that you are a governor. You are not above the law. Try it and you will pay heavily for that. Not that. I'm supporting Okoro Hausa, Uzo Dimba, you are not good also. Mm. 
Another one here, confiscate and convey the property to Imo State Government instead of demolishing them, please. And that had always been the suggestion I normally profile when things like this come up. If you feel that the property where it is located is not, it wasn't authorized, just get necessary court injunction, convert it to government property, you know, than to demolish it. It makes no sense for you to demolish a house that possibly may have been built with government money. It makes no sense. You understand? And uh, This one here says, if other state governors giving land free to Okorocha, what about you? From the action of the governor of Imo State, it is clear that Imo people hate themselves. Another one here say, I remember when the Federal High Court over stopped Okorocha, Okorocha from demolishing Captain Hina Cho's house along Olu Road. What happened? Rochas went there the next day and demolished the house. So, hope should go on nothing mega. Mm -hmm. He sowed the wrong seed and he has to reap it. If you were not respecting court order during your time, certainly you must also reap the seed of, you know, uh, flouting court orders. This is, uh, I mean, lawlessness at, at its greatest height. Nobody have respect for law again. The judiciary it seems not to even have power. And this is really troubling. I tell you, if a society that is running with self-help, the government don't even care about the three arms of government, just care about himself as executive, then Nigeria is not going elsewhere. But for me, I feel if he had done it to someone, guess what? It's very okay for it to happen same to him. Yes. Because those people, you do not respect court order automatically in your own time also. Nobody will respect it. God will have mercy. I'm telling you, this country, God will have mercy. This one says, it's good we saw the type of people we voted into power. Let this be an eye-opener to all Imolite. Most guys who have some things upstairs are not given the money to invest, rather wasting it on useless things. Another person here says, this man is trading Ihedioha's line. Supreme Court Governor, you go see hell after leaving office. My brother. This one says here, all those buildings on government land should be demolished to be a lesson for any incoming government. We are not comfortable with judiciary. Full stop. The one says, why must, why must the Imo state government take the law into their hand instead of seeking judicial solution? Even when excesses were committed by former Governor Korocha, even if it was the money of the state government that was used in building the affected structure demolition, it's not the best solution. The government can legally take over the property and use them for public purposes instead of outright demolition. Unrestrained vengeance and vendetta will not augur well for the few feuding parties and the state. And this one says here, why is Uzodima demolishing all these properties since they belong to Imolats by right? Why not convert them to other things that will be beneficial to the people of Imo State? And this one says, I'm laughing in Swahili. Okorocha never obey any court order when he was in power and he wants successors to obey it. It just can happen. So many responses coming in from different quarters and all of them are supporting the uh, what is about to happen to Okorocha. Well, for me, I, I feel that that is a, 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 a pathway of lawlessness, you know. And uh, But, uh, you know, there had already been a president before now where the current governors uh, in, in the state does not obey court orders. I think that's what is about to happen again. So we must learn to treat the right path so that when another person takes over, he will not do uh, otherwise with us. Let's.